Hello, everybody, and welcome to the new studio. Yay. Uh, I got finished moving up yesterday. Um, pretty late. That's why I didn't get an episode recorded yesterday. I was in the middle of moving everything from over there to over here. And even in the morning, I was busy moving crap for uh, the place where I work. Uh, we were moving all the stuff from one building to another. And I spent all morning doing that. My arms still hurt from doing that. Um, I'm not built for moving. But as you can tell, because of the mic right here, it didn't work. Um, it is noticeably different in here. Uh, you know, removed... I mean, I can't hear the echo. I, I can't. I could hear the echo in there, but I can't hear the echo in here. But if I have this mic even two feet away from me and I have the gain up to hear it, it's just, it's still bad. I, I don't get it. I don't understand. I guess it's possible that um, the environment around here is set to catch the high end, but not the low end. So I don't know. Um, but, uh, anyways, I'm in the middle of recording a Learning with Chrono episode with Space Engineers. Uh, I'm just kind of procrastinating right now because Learning with Chrono is a pain in the ass. It is. I have to seriously think about what I'm saying. I can't just randomly go off on a tangent like I do on these things. I actually have to stay right on topic, be very concise and very, I don't know, detailed. How do I explain that? I have to be specific, but I have to be short uh, just to do it right. But uh, yeah, so I was looking, I was looking on uh, my analytics the, uh, the other day, and I'm just looking at all of my most popular videos. And for like a year now, the same video has been the most viewed month after month after month. And that is the force fields tutorial. Uh, that I did a very long time ago, uh, you know, d like 30,000 views on the damn thing. It's kind of insane. It's kind of ridiculous, but there it is. And it, that's how it is for most of my learning with videos. Um, I think that's where most of my subscribers are coming from. And since they're here for the learning with videos, I don't get the views on anything else, even though the quest for creative was supposed to be an easier way to do the learning with videos. Uh, nobody apparently caught on with that. Oh, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. Um, but yeah, I started letting the, the room cool off because I have to keep the door shut because I get echo from out in the hallway. Um, I guess it's kind of not that important since I have this right here. But, uh, so I have the door shut and the, all the fans are off and everything like that. So it gets kind of hot in here. So I have to calm down or open the door, get the fans kicked on and let everything cool off because my PC over there, it produces a lot of heat. Um, it's kind of hot and kind of annoying. And it's kind of already making me start to sweat. Uh, so I got to be careful with that. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I'll have the learning with Chrono up tomorrow and this will be, well, I guess today for you guys, um, the learning with Chrono will be up and this will be an extra video. I hope. So on to other news, everybody and their brother has been talking about monetizing YouTube videos. And I don't mean like putting advertisements like the YouTube advertisements, the AdSense advertisements that piss me off to absolutely no end. No, I'm talking about accepting money to do reviews of games. Uh, apparently the Yogscast people are, they like made whole this whole thing. Uh, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's a business venture, I guess is probably the best description of it. Uh, basically what it is, is like, uh, if you sign up for this service, we'll do a review of it. And then any extra sales of the games that you get after we do the, after we post a video, you know, we get a cut of the money. Uh, okay. It's, I don't know how I feel about that. It's, it's not illegal and I don't think it should be. 
Um, I think it should be perfectly fine to do that as long as you follow the FCC regulations where you have to make it very clear that you're accepting money to make the video. Um, I mean, it's it's required, the FCC regulations. Um, and the FCC regulations even say that uh, if you get just a reviewer's code from a game company, you have to let the viewers know that you're making this video on a code that you got for free for the review. Um, I, I, I kind of see where they're going with that, but that one's a little silly. I mean, if you're reviewing a video, then that's kind of expected. Or if you're reviewing a game, I should say, that's kind of expected that you're going to get that. Um, I mean, has Siskel and Ebert ever popped up and say, hey, by the way, we got this DVD for free from the movie company so we could review it. I've never seen that. You know, I don't know why they're signaling singling out video gamers, but uh, there we have it. There it goes. Um, but, yeah, I was just watching uh, Farlands or Bus. Kurt J. Mack was talking about this, and he spent a good portion of the video, probably about 20 to 30 minutes of the video, talking about this. And apparently it's a huge hot topic recently, and I can't see why. Um, I mean, I guess it's kind of a big thing. The Yogg's cast people are kind of big... Um, I don't watch any of them, so I actually know damn near nothing about them, except that people seem to be kind of polarized. It's either you watch them and you like them, or you don't watch them and you fucking hate them. I'm in the middle because I don't know anything about them, and I tend not to polarize on things that I know nothing about. I try not to anyways. So I, I know nothing about the Yawks cast people, um... So, yeah, uh, but, yeah, he spent a good half hour talking about it, so I figured I'd throw my two cents in, and my two cents are this. I have absolutely no problem with the Yogscast people doing this. I think what might become a problem is that the Yogscast people know that their money depends on a positive review, because it's based on how many games are sold after the fact, after the video is uh, gone live. So if you're making a review video and you know this fact that how much you're going to get paid is going to be based on commission, basically. Um, and we know how commission ends up. It ends up fairly poorly. Um, so basically anything that's done under this by the Yogscast people is suddenly thrown into doubt. Um, and it kind of throws most everything that the Yogg's cast people do into doubt. Um, but I can't blame them for doing this because if I was ever offered, in the extremely unlikely event that I was ever offered money to do a video on a game, I would be tempted to take it. But I will tell you this, and I'll just tell, say this really quick, and then I'm going to end the quick episode here. I will say this. If I ever do that, if that is ever offered to me, there would have to be three stipulations that I set that cannot be negotiated and will probably make it so that I will never get this kind of deal. Uh, stipulation number one, I have to make it extremely clear that I'm actually doing this, it, that I'm getting paid to do the video. Um, and that's FCC regulations. I mean, you're, you're kind of forced to do that. But, I mean, at the beginning of the video, at the very beginning of the video, it will be spelled out in white text on a black screen and I will be talking over that, and I will make damn sure that everybody knows that I'm getting paid to do this. Stipulation number two. I will say whatever the hell I want to say about the game. If I don't like your game, I will fucking say it. Um, if I like your game, I will say that too. Uh, but I, I'm actually fairly good at separating, the, I guess compartmentalizing my thoughts. Um, it's how I end up so logical sometimes. I can take emotion, put it over here, and take logic, put it over here, and just pay to the, pay attention to this side. Um, and I'm so used to that that this side tends to get ignored. Anyways, um, but that's how it will be. It's uh, I will do an honest review, and if you don't like it, well, tough to nookies, because you accepted condition number three, and that is the money will be up front. It will be a flat rate or flat f price, flat fee, whatever, and it will be up front. Um, basically, you pay for the video. 
what you you pay for my personality um and that's how it would go uh so yeah you pay up front then you get the video the end result of the video has absolutely nothing to do with how much i would get paid thus the video would be more honest um but i can guarantee you that if you know anybody's like huh i want to get him to do my videos let's see what he thinks about that and then he finds my stipulations they'll go huh no and i'll never get asked and you know what? That's perfectly fine. I got no problem with that. I'm doing this all as a hobby anyways. I don't ever actually expect to get paid for doing this. Um, okay, I get a little bit of poof money from Google every now and then for putting up the advertisements, but I don't ever actually expect to make a living off of this. Uh, I've given up on that. I gave up on that like a month ago. Uh, so this is all for a hobby benefit. This is for my benefit. This is for your benefit. This isn't for... Uh, money. Though I guess money would be my benefit. And I'm rambling again. I need to stop doing that. And I'm going to end this uh, quick little video up here. Hopefully this will be a secondary video. And I will say to you guys as always, keep playing the game and have fun.